I'm your host tonight. I am so glad and excited about this all. It's a home-based business tech webinar that we are about to hear and learn lots of things. So I want you to have pen and paper so you can take copious notes, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and get myself right out of the way to bring our speaker, our tax professional on the line to give us all of these good notes. Guys, she is from the Bronx, New York, but she resides in Raleigh, North Carolina. She's a mother, a wife, a newly grandma, but we call her grandma, and she is taking over. She wants to share tonight how you too can make a legacy for your family just by changing some things in the area with your income and your taxes, how you prepare them. So I'm excited about that tonight. She is doing wonders in the business that she's in. Like I said, she does taxes during the day. She's a tax professional, and by night she's working her own personal business with vacation travel. What we call her in the business is an executive diamond. Guys, I'm going to get myself out of the way to bring on the call Miss Lucretia Lawrence. Are you out there? Yes, I am, Ava. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Take it away. Well, first I want to thank you for taking the time to open up the call this evening, being a leader that you are, within our organization, within our opportunity. But I thank you so very much for opening up the line. But I heard people chiming in all the way from Mexico. I heard people chiming in all the way from Chicago. So what does that tell me? It tells me that people are looking for a way to shelter their taxes. And I'm so very grateful for you taking the time to be on the line this, this evening. And I thank you so very much. Like it was told me, my name is Lucretia Lawrence, and I am the executive designer with many opportunity on vacation travel, and I am a tax professional by day. What she shared with me is the fact that this opportunity has been able to afford me to bless so many families and it is one of the greatest things when you can show somebody how to do something smarter and not harder. But what's about to hear is the fact that this is a home-based business and we have tax deductions that afford that you can afford by you having a home-based business. Guys I've been in the tax industry it will be 10 years this tax season. So what I love the fact is, for one, I am a certified TCIN tax professional. I love what I do by day, but I absolutely I love what I do by night because I am allowed to help the more when I am sharing this opportunity on this tax show. So I'm going to jump right in. Now, most people don't understand that the system of taxes in this country, it's for two systems, two tax systems. Now, one for the rich and one for the poor. I'm sorry, that is a myth. People don't understand that it's not for the rich and it's not for the poor. What the system is in place for, it is in place for employees, people who know the rules, people who don't know the rules, which are designed to take your wealth and what the self employed uh, people who understand that it's designed to create economic growth. The reason for that is small business generates over 70% of the jobs in this country. So Congress passes good tax laws so that you're able to write them off. And you can check Sam Boykin, who is a former IRS attorney. Now, I want you to understand that there are some advantages, and then you're going to have people to say that there are some disadvantages. Well, our opportunity is so great because we have an online home business. Now, some of the advantages would be conveniently, convenient work location, less expensive, flexible schedule, tax advantages for the square footage of the total percentage of the square footage of the total home. And percentage of your utilities. Guys, some of the disadvantages are zoning, need restrictions, isolation from others, 
sleep on them. Now, there are two types of expenses associated with your home office. Uh, the direct and indirect. The direct expenses are only for the business part of your home. The desk, your, your chair, your computer, the cabinet. These are the things that are for your business part of your home, and that's the only that's where you work the business, right? Indirect. These are expenses for keeping your home up and running. Your life, your internet, your water, your, your home. These are things that have to be ran anyway. Now, some people are trying to understand why this is an IRS that is allowing us to be using the deduction. Well, I want you to know that you can always go to the IRS.gov. This will go to publication 535, and it explains why we're allowed to do this. To be a deductible, a business expense must be both ordinary and necessary. You want to write that down, because you're going to need to remind yourself as you start deducting the things that you're going to deduct. The point is to stand back to this. If it's ordinary and necessary, an ordinary expense is that it's common, and accepted in the trade of business. And necessary expense is one that is helpful and appropriate for your trade of business. An expense does not have to be indispensable to be considered necessary. Now, why can't I use deduction? Now, I want you to ask yourself three questions. Upon joining the opportunity of vacation travel, I need you to ask yourself and be truthful. Did you start the business because you wanted to make additional income? Are you willing to work your, on your business 45 minutes a day, at least four days a week? Is that a lot of time? Absolutely not, right? Are you willing to keep a log or a journal of the things you are doing to grow your business? Guys, if you answer yes to all of these, all of the above questions, then you definitely qualify for some amazing tax breaks and can join millions of other people in the country that are taking advantage of tax breaks of only a home-based business. Guys, that would just make absolute sense. Now, I want you to understand within our business, we have what is called monthly overhead. The monthly overhead within our business is $69.95. I'm sure you probably thought it was going to be a
way to host your website is also a light up on your taxes. So God, aren't you in a win-win situation? God, this just makes sense absolutely. Now, these are some of the miscellaneous deductions that you're able to write off as well. Advertising. Marketing. Do we not buy some people buy flyers? Do we not buy business cards? God, I hand out thousands of business cards. Internet. I need internet to run my business. I'm using my internet right now to host this webinar. Meeting, super Saturday keys, convention keys. Are those not necessarily necessary for us to learn or share our business? Repair and maintenance of business equipment? Supplies, taxes, and licenses. All other expenses related to your business that are necessary and ordinary for your business. Now, guys, I want to give you an example of what we do in our opportunity. Now, most of you have a lot of flyers, a lot of pictures of us celebrating the, um, the opportunity of vacation travel. But, guys, one thing I want you to understand, we're not always just celebrating. And one, you can, so you can use this tool, and it's Facebook. You see flyers showing that there's going to be a meeting, a legitimate meeting, right? As you can see, it was June 18th, 2016, um, on a Saturday. You can see some of the leaders, Jason Cross, you can see Ron Jones, myself, and my husband um, are also on the flyer. You can actually see the location in which we had the um, presentation out there in North of Virginia. What you also see is me standing in the middle of some of my partners that I definitely went to Virginia to fill this great opportunity. You'll we'll also see in the bottom of the screen, which are several partners that are in that area and some of the leadership. But guys, what Facebook does, it gives you almost a cheat sheet. At the bottom of your post, it shows the same date as the date that's on a flyer. So isn't that proof that I was in the location in which I told? Can I not use that for like the mileage that I, I went from my home to go to that meeting? Absolutely, right? It shows the actual hotel. But I stayed at that hotel that's also in memory genre for me to remember to look in my folder for the receipt or look on my bank statement so I can see the receipt in which I used to book that hotel. Guys, you can just use the tools that are around us so that you can have a cheat sheet and don't leave any money on the table. Now, mileage and vehicle laws. You may take standard flat rate. Every, um, you may take a standard flat rate for every business mile driven. You cannot include commuting miles, miles sourced from your first job. But I think I have a way that I can help you utilize some of those miles. In addition to mileage allowances, you can you can deduct parking, interest, tolls, property taxes on your vehicle, but not sales tax. The standard mileage rate in 2016 is 54 cents. Guys, it used to be 57 and a half and it's gone down, but I want you to know that it's dollar, dollar, so that still absolutely is a great amount that you can write off. Most people don't understand that there are thousands of dollars left on the table because you do not create a mileage law. And you can use your Facebook code to show the completion that you have to that you went to attend so that you can write off all your taxes. Mileage your real home. Now, like I said, you know, first, where do you want that by day? You don't want to leave any of that money on the table. So what I want you to do is try to convert as many of your personal miles, business miles as possible. You have a home based business, so anytime you leave your home, to essentially be for business. For example, when I'm off I make my way to work, I get gas. I stop and talk to several people about the opportunity. I hand out business cards. I may talk to the cashier about the opportunity. Invite them to a webinar. Invite them to a weekly meeting. And I can absolutely take one of those miles off. Conduct some type of business during your commute. I hand out business cards. Talking to people about your business. Do not take any time that you have to share your opportunity for granted. Guys, another way you can do it is by getting a magnet and putting it on the side of your car. Therefore, you're always using your miles because you're always promoting your business. 24-7, guys. We do a lot of Meals and entertainment. Meals and entertainment is a 50% deductible where business is discussed in a clear business setting. <laughs> As 
to make sure that we can still see them. So we got a, a, a joint room. That was part of my experience. I was definitely doing a tight inspection on every last uh, adventure that you see up here. I want you to understand there are going to be some people who say, hey, I joined this opportunity. I have yet to book any um, travel for anybody. I have yet to build a team. I don't even know if it makes sense for me to be a part of this anymore because I feel like well, I am wasting money. I want you to speak to them and let them know I hope you're on the line. There is never a reason for you to lose legitimate business deduction. Even if your business is not profitable in the first few years, you may qualify to take business loss. The losses offset your current income and whatever possible can be significantly reduced, significantly reduced tax goals. If there is no earned income, you can carry for two years, or you can carry back up to three years. This is known as NOL, net operating loss. Do not leave the money on the table. You absolutely can write off loss and definitely benefit this coming tax year. Now, I want you to consult with a tax professional. Not just any tax professional, it is important to consult a tax professional that is home based, business knowledgeable, because then they will shun your way and say, hey, you don't have a 1099, so you can't write that off. So you want to get a second opinion, and when you do, you'll get to talk out that you can write off the loss that I just spoke about. But I want to definitely take the time to bring before you some testimony as to different people coming from different parts of the world, guys, and I want you to understand that they probably mirror some of the people that you know, if not you yourself. First, I want to bring up the young, young lady who happens to be an empty nester. She happens to be a baby woman, and she is an accountant working at Golden Corral. Make this very decent money, but she joined this opportunity, and I want to bring up line that's under head if you make it to the line. This one the head you might want to unmute your line. Okay, I'm here. Okay. Well, I really want you to take the time for us.
And uh, anybody out there that is in trouble with Uncle Sam, you need to be in vacation. And if you're not in trouble with Uncle Sam, you still need to be in vacation. Thank you. Have a uh, happy new year and a Merry Christmas. Thank you so very much, Mr. Avery. Guys, what I also wanted, I want to hear someone who is a professional in her own right, her being an IT manager um, in her, uh, her daily job. What I love about this old lady is she for an opportunity where she can absolutely show her taxes. And that's, that's the purpose of her joining the opportunity, guys. So I want to bring to you, bring to the line, um, Ms. Janelle Ellison. Um, are you online? You might need to unmute your line. Janelle, if you haven't unmuted your line, press our six. Well, guys, we're going to have to hear from her at another time. I do appreciate you all for just taking the time to hear different scenarios. I'm sure you know somebody who's an ex-nexter. I'm sure you know someone who probably has separated and they, one parent of child for this month, and the other one parent of child for this month. So those people absolutely need to have shelter. You know somebody who has no children who would love to get a tax return because Uncle Sam loves that person with no children, doesn't he? What I definitely want you to know is that there's something in this opportunity for any and anybody that you know. I promise you, you talk to somebody and you tell your testimony, get your story out there. By you having a homemade business and you start sharing the opportunity and how it's left you in your household, then I'm absolutely sure it'll be a magnet to you building your business. Now, the book that I like to look at, um, you know, I like to tell people that they can look at is 475 tax deductions for um, having a homemade business and being self employed, and it's by Bernard B. Kamalov. Is a CPA with very useful information, and I want you to know that it is a tax deduction for you to have that book as well because it absolutely is necessary for you to basically understand um, what you're being able to write off, and it's almost like a tool or a cheat sheet for you to have better, um, tax, a better tax experience. Guys, my name is Lucretia Lawrence. I'm an executive diner with vacation travel. I am a tax professional by day, and I hope that you take the time to seriously take a look at vacation. And if you are in vacation, do not leave any money on the table. That will be all for this evening. God bless you all.